All right, guys. So let's continue our discussion on another uh, oxazolidinone system, but which is going to give you the enantiomeric product as compared to the Evans oxazolidinone system. So you remember that Evans oxazolidinone. All right, this compound was formed from S valine, and it gave you one single enantiomer of any of the final product of any of the final diastereomer that was forming. So, for example, if we don't want that particular enantiomer, we want the other enantiomer because it is of more importance. For example, if it happened, how do we synthesize How are we going to solve this problem? What we did is, if you remember S-valine system, dekho, just look at the structure. Uh, ye raha. This is your S-valine. So, S-valine has a plus sign. It is having a plus sign. So, it is going to drive the reaction in one uh, way. But we don't, somehow we want the negative enantiomer which is going to synthesize the other enantiomer. So, how do we solve this problem? We are taking another molecule from nature itself that is a minus nor ephedrine. So, this is the L isomer. What is this? It is already an amino alcohol. It is already an amino alcohol, nor ephedrine is used by our body to synthesize adrenaline. All right, it's a precursor to adrenaline. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. We are taking the negative isomer and it is already an amino alcohol. We don't have to reduce or anything. Already an amino alcohol. So it is going to be directly reacting with the dithyl carbonate. Remove these two groups and ye ban gaya fir se oxazolidinone system. However, the groups are methyl and pH and they are present above the plane. In the S valine, it was present below the plane. Okay. The S valine Evans oxazolidinone system was like this, right? There was an isopropyl present below the plane. So, whatever group has to attack this molecule <coughs> or the molecule to which the chiral auxiliary is attached, it is going to do so above the plane because below is hindered. However, in this molecule, in this oxazolidinone system, we are going to add the same. Uh, the, in the presence of a brace, we remove this proton and we are going to add the same acyl chloride that we took uh, in the previous example. Ye se nikal jayega, nitrogen will add over here. It forms a strong amide bond. Okay. Now what? Now, you know that the top face of the dinophile is shielded from the attack. So, and that's why the <clears throat> in a deal solder reaction, let's say the cyclopentadiene must attack from the bottom face. So, this bottom face attack kar raha hai, which means again it is going to give you the enantiomer of the previous example. Ye dekho. Ye ban gaya yaan pe. Removal of the auxiliary. We remove the auxiliary and this is what you are getting. Opposite enantiomer formed with this auxiliary. So, we have both the auxiliaries now. One is coming from the S plus valine. And the other one is coming from minus norephedrine. These two uh, uh, oxazolidinone systems or the chiral auxiliaries can give us both the enantiomers that we want. It is not only used in a deal solder reaction, but they can also be used in reactions like these. Let's study what are various reactions possible. First one is alkylation of enolates. So we have this kind of an enolate molecule. Let's see. <clears throat> So, we are having this oxazolidinone system and in the first uh, uh, reaction what we are doing is again we are going to connect the carbonyl molecule to the nitrogen. So, we have our acyl chloride, it is your nitrogen proton removal, this new carbonyl and nitrogen bond is formed. Now, this is basically an amide. Amides usually don't give the uh, deal solder, uh, 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 let's say uh, aldol reaction and so on. But, we will do this. So, LDA. We are taking a very strong base and this is the only proton which can be removed from over here, right? Most acidic proton. Proton removed, we are deliberately making the cis enolate. Why? Because you know that trans can't go. This trans enolate, if the group was over here, the methyl was over here, it is going to face a very strong steric hindrance from here, okay? So, this cis enolate is going to be formed. All right. Now what happens is we move onwards and yes, cis enolate ban gaya hai. You know the cis enolate is going to after this you can provide any other electrophile 
that is going to give you this kind of a above uh you know attack and this is your molecule once again you can remove the oxazolidinone system by various methods so this is this is going to be your final product okay the chiral auxiliary can be removed and recycled you know that to hum aage chalte hain dekho ye raha hamara electrophile rx rx ko kahan se attack hoga rx is going to be attacked from above the plane this is the major diastereomer which is formed it is still diastereomer why because see the uh, relationship between the two products which are formed one the hydrogen above one the hydrogen below these two are diastereomers to each other because only this carbon is differing in the stereo this carbon remains the same this is another chiral carbon okay that's why they are going to be diastereomer this is the minor diastereomer okay because of the isopropyl group now also seeing a variation while we are taking the different size of the alkyl halide agar maine chhota sa alkyl halide liya hai ethyl iodide then you are going to have 94 is to 6 ratio major is going to be 94 this is going to be 6 if i take a little bit bulky allyl bromide then 98 is to 2 definitely the ratio has increased aur main aur bhi bada le lu benzyl bromide if i am taking a larger Uh, uh, larger uh, electrophile then 99 is to 1 और आप जितना बड़ा इलेक्ट्रोफाइल लोगे उतना ही ज्यादा इट इज गोइंग टू बी ड्रिवन टू गिव यू द मेजर डायस्टिमर ओवर हियर ना हाउ डू यू रिमूव द कैरल ऑक्सिलरी यू कैन डू इट बाय रिडक्शन यू कैन डू इट बाय ऑक्सीडेशन डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स यू आर गोइंग टू सी दैट वेरी शॉर्टली यहाँ से ये ब्रेक होगा आपको अल्कोहल मिल जाएगा दिस एग्जैक्ट मॉलिक्यूल हैज बीन आस्ट इन योर सी एसा नेट एंड गेट एग्जामिनेशन गो थ्रू द पेपर यू विल सी प्लस यू आर गोइंग टू गेट दिस आगे चलो रिमूविंग दी ऑक्सिलरी ये लेट्स हाउ टू रिमूव दी ऑक्सिलरी वेरी इजी सो यू स्टार्ट विद दिस अल्कोहल सॉरी यू स्टार्ट विद दिस मॉलिक्यूल जस्ट नाउ दैट वी हैव प्रिपेयर वन ऑफ द डायस्टीमर्स द मेजर डायस्टीमर्स उसी से आगे चलते हैं इफ वी प्रोवाइड लिथियम एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्राइड लिथियम एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्राइड इज गोइंग टू रिड्यूस द अमाइड बॉन्ड क्योंकि ये अमाइड बॉन्ड है जिसको ब्रेक करना है लिथियम एल्यूमिनियम हाइड्राइड विल रिड्यूस इट टू अल्कोहल कम्प्लीटली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ओनली रिड्यूस इट टू एन एल्डे हाइड आई कैन यूज डाइबेल यू नो ऑलरेडी वॉट डाइबेल डज एट लो टेम्परेचर रिड्यूस एवरी थिंग टू एल्डे हाइड एट लो टेम्परेचर येस इफ आई एम टेकिंग दिस कॉम्बिनेशन Uh, combination lithium hydroxide and per acid followed by acidic workup this is going to give you carboxylic acid hydro peroxide is more nucleophilic and less basic than oh minus so agar aapke paas oh minus hai bhi medium ke andar to wo kya karega peroxide se proton nikal lega and that is why since oh minus is more basic that's why it's going to grab the proton and become water who is free to attack now the peroxide ion is free to attack that's why you are going to get the carboxylic acid next this is most important aur thoda sa ek step zyada hai when we are taking a wienreb amide what is a wienreb amide this one menhome -E. uh, sorry we, uh, the wienreb amide is going to be formed what is this molecule you are having nh a methoxy group connected on nitrogen and along with that you are having a lewis acid so what is going to happen over here yaha pe uh, in the presence of a lewis acid this amide nitrogen is going to attack over here and do the replacement of this amide nitrogen okay it's like a nucleophilic substitution on carbonyl carbon ये प्रोटॉन रिमूव हो चुका है दिस प्रोटॉन रिमूव एंड यू आर गेटिंग द वीन रेब अमाइड दिस मॉलिक्यूल इज द वीन रेब अमाइड नाउ इफ यू हैव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग न्यूक्लियोफाइल लाइक द ग्रीग नार्ड यू कैन डेफिनेटली रिमूव द वीन रेब अमाइड एंड यू फाइनली गेट अ कीटोन ओवर हियर सो व्हाट वी वांट बाय रिमूविंग दिस कैरल ऑक्सिलरी we might want an alcohol we might want an aldehyde a ketone or a carboxylic acid yahi major cheeze hoti hai if you want an ester you can create so by uh, doing esterification of the carboxylic acid let's go onwards another important very very important uh, reaction using samp and ramp as i told you that what are samp and ramp guys these are again chiral auxiliaries ye kaise hai dekho 
SAMP and RAM only the R and S configuration is different. Different in this way. देखो ये hydrogen below है और ये hydrogen above है. बस इतना ही difference है. And what are these molecules exactly? These are one amino, two methoxy, methyl pyrrolidine system. So basically ये hydrazine bond है. If you can see closely, it's like a hydrazine. And a saturated five-membered ring is known as a pyrrolidine. So one amino, one, two, three, four, five. One amino, two methyl methoxy. ठीक है या फिर methoxy methyl बोलो. Methoxy methyl pyrrolidine system. So SAMP and RAMP are again chiral auxiliaries. देखो कैसे react करेंगे? They have also been asked a few times in your CSI NET exam. So, let's see how they work. First of all, you started with a ketone. And you know the ketone is going to react with the hydrazine to form a hydrazone. Exactly the same things happen. We are taking SAMP. Because you can find out the configuration of this one. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3 goes anti-clockwise. So, this is S. Just check once. Now, this is the SAMP. And we are getting a hydrazone. Hydrazone formation. Alright. After that, there is LDA. Which is going to take out an acidic proton from over here. Okay. Now, if this proton will go here, then this negative charge will come to nitrogen. And that is going to basically give you an inamine system. Followed by which, there is going to be an electrophilic attack on this alkyl halide. Now, where is this electrophile going to add? When you are taking the sample, so, above side is more occupied. So, the electrophile adds below the plane. Okay. When you are taking ramp, the below side is occupied. So, you are going to get the addition above. Now, whatever you are trying to do, you take uh, ozone or you take any other reagent, you can just break this bond again. And you are getting your carbonyl back. So, this is again enantioselective reaction, chiral induction. ठीक है हमने कार्यल ऑक्सिलरी को यूज किया और फिर रिमूव भी कर दिया है। Be very careful. I am saying that when you write the whole hydrazine group on the less hindered side of the ketone, where the protonation is not, where the deprotonation is not taking place, that is going to be a better choice. अगर आप सेम मॉलिक्यूल को ऐसे लिख देते हो that you are writing the Let's say this is, for example, this is R1, R2. अगर आप इसको ऐसे लिख रहे हो ना, don't write it on the bulkier side, because this side is already, this part is already bulky. You don't need to add it up over here. That will be wrong. Then you cannot decide where the final product is going to be. इसलिए हमेशा इसको less hindered side पे लिखना है. चलो, next one. Now we are going to understand some reactions which are not using chiral auxiliary, but are using chiral catalyst. Okay, but are using chiral catalyst. Now let's move onwards to Noyori asymmetric reduction of alkene. You must have heard about BINAP doing a BINAP doing a reduction of alkene selectively. BINAP reduction of alkene. This is the uh, this is a very important reaction that is included. In using chiral catalyst. So, BINAP how do you see guys? BINAP, we will see the structure of BINAP. So, these two rings are perpendicular to each other, okay? They can be R and S also. This is the structure of BINAP. What is this? It's a base phosphine by naphthyl and diphenyl groups are present. So, see, the obvious thing is that this will not be a planar. Let's say one of the ring is going to be present above the plane. This ring right over here is present above the plane. That is, it is pointing towards me. And this ring, this part of the ring is pointing into the plane of paper and this part is pointing towards me. So, if you can visualize it from here, you can visualize it exactly from this point, from this point, from this axis, if you are able to visualize this, it will be awesome. You will understand that this part is coming toward us, this part, 
and this part of the molecule is coming towards us. So it's it's basically like a cross. It's like a cross over here. अगर आप ऐसे समझ सको तो ठीक है तो अगर क्रॉस है तो ये आर एन एस कॉन्फिग्रेशन कैसे देंगे हम इसका देखो आई एम विजुअलाइजिंग आई एम लाइक स्टैंडिंग ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल या फिर आई हैव काइंड ऑफ रोटेटेड द मॉलिक्यूल तो मुझे क्या दिखेगा दिस पार्ट इज कमिंग टूवर्ड्स मी एस आई सेड इट इज कमिंग टूवर्ड्स मी सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी लाइक अ लाइन लाइक दिस ये एक लाइन बन गया है ये कैसे आएगा मेरे मेरी तरफ आ रहा है ये सो आई एम गोइंग टू राइट इट लाइक अ वर्टिकल लाइन वेर this side is the chain this chain over here and this side is the pph2 okay however this line this part is going into the plane all right and this part is coming towards me so i'm going to write it like this pph2 all right so first priority given over here second priority given over here third priority to this 1 2 3 anti clockwise rot rotation it is s by n and you write the opposite one that's going to be r by nap ye kaise use hote hai by nap you know wilkinson's catalyst ka is pph3 whole thrice rhodium chloride ye wilkinson's catalyst hai remove two of the phosphines from over here and add a by nap to humne kya kiya do phosphine ko remove karke one by nap we have taken rhodium pph3 cl this is again the same thing Just remove these two and add binap. इससे क्या हो जाएगा? The molecule itself becomes chiral. So the catalyst itself becomes chiral, and the whole process, the whole catalytic cycle, right? You definitely know there is going to be a catalytic cycle. So जो पूरी catalytic cycle है, that is going to induce symmetry. The groups are going to be added symmetrically. Now that ruthenium-based catalyst was derived from the Wilkinson's catalyst. Okay. so ruthenium catalyzes a symmetric hydrogenation hydrogenation of uh, unsaturated carboxylic acid may we can take the wilkinson's modified wilkinson catalyst or we can also take some electron withdrawing group so that the uh, reactions are easier and better on these groups okay to so, chalo humne humne liya hai ruthenium diacetate s by nap uh, complex theek hai now you must always have an oxygen source which is put on the right hand side and above of the alkene ye dekho always write your alkene in this way alkene aisa hai to isme char group honge so you always have to write some oxygen source on the right right hand side and on the top agar right hand side and top mein hai oxygen source oxygen source is present on the right and top then what happens is then the s by nap is going to transfer the hydrogen hydrogen transfers from below the plane and if there is r by nap the hydrogen transfers from above the plane that's it very simple so you look over here there is an oxygen source this is the s by nap you are doing the syn addition of hydrogen absolutely it is going to be a syn addition but both the hydrogens are added from below the plane okay similarly if you are taking r by nap both the hydrogens are going to be added from above the plane this convention i have taken from cladden only these are all cladden examples as you can see तो ये जो कार्बोनिल है ये कहाँ होना चाहिए कार्बोनिल और एनी अदर ऑक्सीजन सोर्स ऑन दी राइट एंड टॉप नेक्स्ट रुथेनियम बेस असिमेट्रिक हाइड्रोजनेशन ऑफ अलाइलिक एल्कोहल वंस अगेन इन द अलाइलिक एल्कोहल यू हैव एन ऑक्सीजन सोर्स ऑक्सीजन ग्रुप इज नीडेड फॉर द कोऑर्डिनेशन टू रुथेनियम दैट्स वाई वी टेक आईदर अल्फाबीटा अनसेचुरेटेड कार्बोनिल लेकिन यहाँ या तो ओ एच होना चाहिए इन द कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड और इन द अलाइलिक एल्कोहल फॉर्म there must be an oxygen okay again s by nap is going to transfer the hydrogen from below the plane and here the r by nap is going to transfer the same from above the plane theek hai to hum aage badhte hain now we see various examples now this is example number 2 so you see guys again you are having a alpha beta unsaturated acid but still we have taken acid over here again we want the oh group to coordinate to ruthenium 
सो इट इज अगेन ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड एंड इट इज ऑन द टॉप आप इस एल्किन को ऐसे भी लिख सकते थे एरोमेटिक ग्रुप एज वेल एज सी डबल बॉन्ड ओ एच इन दिस वे इफ यू आर राइटिंग दिस इज गोइंग टू गो डाउन इन द बॉटम बट यू आर गोइंग टू राइट इट लाइक दिस सो दैट यू हैव अ कन्वेंशन तो ये यहाँ पे ऐसे लिखा है हमने हाइड्रोजन इज गोइंग टू एड फ्रॉम विच साइड इट इज गोइंग टू एड फ्रॉम बिलो द प्लेन सो दे यू हैव इट इट इज गोइंग टू बी एडेड बिलो द प्लेन नाइनटी एट परसेंट इन एंशोमरिक एक्सेस यू आर गेटिंग जीरा जीरा ऑल वंस अगेन सो अगेन द एल्किन द ओ एच ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट ऑन द टॉप साइड सो इट इज हाइड्रोजन एस बाई नैप सो यू आर गोइंग टू एड द हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम बिलो द प्लेन All right, works the same way. S by nap is going to add from below the plane only if you are having proper orientation of the OH. अब हम आगे चलते हैं, guys. Enantio selectivity in the Sharpless asymmetric epoxidation. This is our second reaction. First, asymmetrically, uh, uh, asymmetric chiral agent was Noyori reduction. We were doing Noyori reduction using the chiral ruthenium agent. Here we are going to use chiral titanium catalyst. What is it? ये देखो. Titanium tetra isopropoxide. This is our catalyst. सिर्फ catalyst ही chiral नहीं है. Catalyst के साथ में जो एक let's say DET molecule है, which is basically a coordinating, या chelating. It's it's a chelating one. The chelating agent, DET or DIPT. Sometimes it is written DET, that is diethyl tartrate. Sometimes it is written DIPT. So both ways, this works as the chelating agent, and here it is going to help in making the whole uh, titanium tetraisopropoxide chiral. तो ये पूरा जो कॉम्बिनेशन है इसमें चार चीजें होती है इन द शार्पलेस असिमेट्रिक इपॉक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन व्हाट आर द फोर थिंग्स प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर फर्स्ट इज यू नीड टू हैव एन ऑक्सीजन सोर्स दैट इज गोइंग टू कम फ्रॉम टर्शरी ब्यूटाइल हाइड्रोपरऑक्साइड ओके यू आर नॉट टेकिंग हाइड्रोजन परऑक्साइड दिस इज अड्रोपरऑक्साइड वन साइड एल्कोहल ग्रुप इज प्रेजेंट सेकेंड वी आर टेकिंग द मेन कैटलिस्ट मेटल बेस्ड कैटलिस्ट दैट इज टाइटेनियम टेट्रा आइसोप्रोपॉक्साइड देन वी आर टेकिंग अ कायरल किलेटिंग एजेंट दैट इज डाई इथाइल टार्टरेट हाउ डज इट लुक लाइक डाई इथाइल टार्टरेट यू नो टार्टरिक एसिड टार्टरिक एसिड इज नथिंग बट लाइक दिस अब उसका एक मेसो फॉर्म भी होता है और एक एक्टिव फॉर्म भी होता है दिस इज द एक्टिव फॉर्म ऑफ टार्टरिक एसिड इट कुड बी आर और एस विच एवर एक्सपेरिमेंटली डी एन एल कुड बी फाइंड आउट नाउ इफ आई पुट टू इथाइल ग्रुप इन द प्लेस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन तो ये डाइएस्टर बन गया है ठीक है सो दिस इज अवर डाई इथाइल टार्टरेट कोऑर्डिनेटिंग एजेंट एंड द फोर्थ थिंग इज यू नीड मॉलिकुलर सीव समाइम्स यू इन दी एग्जाम्स यू आर गोइंग टू सी द मोलिकुलर सीव मोलिकुलर सीव क्या होते हैं एक तरीके से छलनी नहीं होती है जो पानी छान देता है सो इट इज गोइंग टू डू द सेम थिंग इट इज गोइंग टू अब्सॉर्ब वॉटर so that water is removed from this whole system and does not affect the epoxide which is formed so let's now understand how the reaction is going to go through because again hame ek convention chahiye because we want to remember which reagent combination is going to react in which way dekho if you are arranging the alcohol arrange allylic alcohol with hydroxy group top left टॉप लेफ्ट का एक कन्वेंशन है कि टॉप लेफ्ट में अगर आपने अरेंज कर लिया देन डी माइनस डाई इथाइल टार्टरेट डिलीवर्स ऑक्सीजन ऑन द टॉप फेस ऑफ द एल्किन और एल प्लस डाई इथाइल टार्टरेट डिलीवर्स ऑक्सीजन टू द बॉटम फेस ऑफ द एल्किन सो लेट्स सी इफ वी आर अरेंजिंग द लाइलिक एल्कोहल ऑन द टॉप लेफ्ट ठीक है तो ये देखो ये याद रखना है यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दिस दिस इज वन कन्वेंशन माइनस डी is going to deliver on the top ya fir plus det is going to deliver on the bottom this is one convention that you can remember the other convention will also discuss which i have already discussed uh, in a name reaction video also anyways so this oh group is on the top and is on the left hand side we have arranged the alkene like this what do we have we have d minus det kaha pe transfer karega top ke upar so on the top 
uh, epoxidation is taking place after uh, this was the sharpless epoxidation reaction 80 80% 80 yield and 91% enantiomeric excess in the presence of pdc you are going to con uh, uh, convert this into a cho this is your final product ab iske baad mein aapko jo karna hai kar sakte ho you can do a wittig reaction which is given over here this is a wittig reaction happening all right followed by the h2 catalyst which is not going to touch the epoxide it is only going to reduce the alkene so finally aapke paas ek saturated epoxide bhi present hai so this is a particular molecule that we wanted to synthesize and through the inan through the sharpless epoxidation it became very easy now we also talk about a symmetric dihydroxylation theek hai ye bhi dekh lete hain Asymmetric dihydroxylation reaction. What is this? As the name says, dihydroxylation करना है मतलब two different OH group. The same reaction that we were doing by taking osmium tetraoxide. वो भी हम कर ही रहे थे same reaction. Osmium tetrahydroxide is popular for dihydroxylation. But we want to do it asymmetrically or on one particular side to give you one particular enantiomer. How are we going to do that? Again, we take some पॉसिबल कॉम्बिनेशन हमारा कैटलिस्ट तो वही है ऑस्मियम टेट्रा ऑक्साइड कैटलिस्ट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज हुन चेंज अल लीग एंड अ बिग कायरल लीग एंड कैन डायरेक्ट द सेम रिएजेंट इन डूइंग असिमेट्रिक रिएक्शन सो वी विल सी वॉट इज हैिंग देखो आई एम ओनली गोइंग टू यूज अ स्टॉइशोमेट्रिक क्वान्टिटी ऑफ ऑस्मियम एट रिएजेंट क्योंकि थोड़ा सा महंगा भी होता है थोड़ा सा पॉइजनस भी होता है विच मीन्स आई एम गोइंग टू यूज सम अदर को ऑक्सीडेंट तो मुझे कोई को ऑक्सीडेंट चाहिए उसको बार बार रीऑक्सीडाइज करने के लिए आई कैन यूज अ पोटेशियम फेरी साइनाइड ऑल राइट आई कैन ऑल्सो यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ अ मॉलिक्यूल आई कैन ऑल्सो यूज बेरियम क्लोरेट विच इज नॉट गिवन ओवर हियर let's say I'm, i can use this i can use uh, nmo and methyl morpholine oxide so on and so forth but in reaction mein usually potassium ferricyanide ki use hota hai now let's talk about the big chiral ligands in the sharpless reaction also a chiral ligand which is det or dipt was used here also a chiral ligand but this is different what is it dekho ye alkaloids hai and they are also derived naturally theek hai alkaloids ka structure dekho just stop the video and see if these two are enantiomers or not this is dhq dihydroquinone where the aromatic group is just a hydrogen <clears throat> and this is dihydroquinidine where the aromatic group is also a hydrogen over here तो DHQ और DHQD में क्या डिफरेंस है जस्ट स्टॉप द वीडियो एंड ऑब्जर्व ओके यू मस्ट हैव सीन दैट दीज टू आर नॉट एग्जैक्ट मिरर इमेजेस नॉट क्वाइट मिरर इमेजेस बट दे आर गोइंग टू बिहेव लाइक वन क्यों नहीं है मिरर इमेज क्योंकि ये जो नीचे वाला पोर्शन है ना दिस कार्बन दिस कार्बन एंड दिस कार्बन दे आर बिहेविंग लाइक मिरर इमेजेस दिस कार्बन एंड दिस कार्बन आर ऑल्सो बिहेविंग लाइक मिरर इमेजेस but these two upper carbons they are not behaving like mirror images okay they are not especially this one to isliye kya hoga ye mirror image pura nahi hai these two are actually diastereomers these two are diastereomers to each other these two molecules lekin ye finally jo combination mein reaction dete hain they give you two enantiomers okay that's the beauty of alkaloids uh, you cannot predict that on your own these are experimental findings to ye dekho this dhqd and dhq are taken in combination with the thalazine ligands ye dekho ye jo hai ye wala these are the thalazine ligands and they are combining with the dhq and the dhqd and finally forming this perfect combination that is what we require dhqd fal ko hum bolenge beta ad mix that is beta uh, asymmetric dihydroxylation mix dhq falco hum, hum bolenge alpha ad mix they have a specific role let's move onwards and see so i am going to place 
द एल्किन इन सच अ वे कि जो लार्जेस्ट ग्रुप है मेरा एल्किन का दैट शुड रिमेन ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड बॉटम ठीक है सो वेयर इज द लार्जेस्ट ग्रुप गोइंग टू बी ऑन द लेफ्ट बॉटम इफ इट ऑलवेज रिमेन्स ऑन द लेफ्ट बॉटम देन वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोसीड अब यहाँ पे हाइड्रोजन है या कुछ भी है दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन द मॉलिक्यूल वॉट एवर इज प्रेजेंट बट इफ आई कीप द लार्जेस्ट ग्रुप ऑन द लेफ्ट बॉटम जस्ट एलिमिनेट एवरीथिंग एल्स जस्ट रिमेंबर द डी एच क्यू डी होल टू आइस फैल का जो कॉम्बिनेशन है दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू दाइड्रोक्सिलेशन फ्रॉम अब एंड दैट वॉज द बीटा एडी मिक्स दैट वी हैड तो बीटा एडी मिक्स इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द the reaction above and dhq whole twice fal this combination is going to give you the alpha ad mix and this gives you the dihydroxylation from below the plane so look at this molecule trans still been here or ph already left bottom mein hai because this is hydrogen this is also hydrogen ph is already left bottom so you might be given this thing right it might be very confusing for you to understand ये ऑस्मियम टेट्रा ऑक्साइड भी नहीं लिया है दिस इज द मॉडिफाइड वर्जन ऑफ ऑस्मियम टेट्रा ऑक्साइड पोटेशियम फेरीसाइनाइड सम बेस एंड सम मोर रिएक्टेंट्स बहुत सारी चीजें दे दी है यू हैव टू जस्ट आइडेंटिफाई दैट व्हाट इज द कायरल एजेंट गिवन इट इज डी एच क्यू होल टू फैल दिस इज वॉट अल्फाइडीमिक्स अल्फाइडीमिक्स कहाँ पे देता है बिलो द प्लेन सो दैट इज राइट वॉट वी गेट नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट इन एंशियमरिक फिर ये आया डी एच क्यू डी होल टू आइस फैल ये क्या है बीटा ए डी मिक्स सो वेर इज इट गोइंग टू गिव यू द रियक्शन अब प्लेन सो दिस इज एक्सैक्टली वॉट वी हैव सो दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू रिमेम्बर और सिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस अदरवाइज इट विल बिकम वेरी डिफिकल्ट अब आते हैं क्वेश्चन के ऊपर द मेजर प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म इन द फॉलोइंग रिएक्शन इज इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम जून टू थाउजेंड इलेवन ट्राई सॉल्विंग इट बाई योर सेल्फ so which alkene from both of these is going to be reacting aur hamare paas mein kya hai hamare paas plus hai hamare paas minus hai you know in in the uh, examination when you are actually doing the sharpless epoxidation it's very difficult to arrange the molecule to take the group on the left bot left top jaise allylic alcohol hai isko humne कन्वेंशन में देखा था इट शुड बी प्रेजेंट लाइक दिस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड ऑन द टॉप राइट एंड द हाइड्रोजन शुड बी प्रेजेंट ओवर हियर इन दिस वे ऑल राइट सो दिस इज हाउ इट इज सपोज टू बी बट हमेशा हम इसको ऐसा अरेंज नहीं कर सकते हैं बार बार में सो वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू विल सी सो इन दैट रिएक्शन यू सी इफ यू फर्स्ट डोंट रिमेम्बर जस्ट गो एंड सी वेरी नाइसली माइनस डी टी गेव यू टॉप एडिशन प्लस डी टी गेव यू लोअर एडिशन ठीक है फ्रॉम द बॉट तो ठीक है हम देखते हैं चलो हमारे पास प्लस डी टी है यहाँ पे प्लस डाइटाइल टाटर इट इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द बॉटम एडिशन ठीक है वेरी वेल सो फ्रॉम बॉटम इट इज गोइंग टू एड द इपोक्साइड ओनली टेकिंग प्लेस फॉर अलाइलिक एल्कोहल शार्पलेस इपोक्सीडेशन डज नॉट वर्क फॉर सिंपल एल्किन All right, sharp plus epoxidation only works for allylic alcohol. So it is going to be added from the bottom. So its reaction, ye wala hona chahiye. A should be the correct answer. C and D are absolutely wrong. B is also wrong because niche se add hoga. So we can do one more shortcut, right? Let's find out the RNS of this molecule. So at this point. At only at this carbon, because ah, uh, re and si phase. Sorry, re and si we can find for both the carbons of the alkene bond, but we will only find out that one. First priority for the alcoholic group connected to carbon. This carbon first priority. Second priority this carbon and hydrogen is third. So one, two, three is anti-clockwise. So this is what is phase. It is a si phase. All right. So according to this, whenever we are having a si phase. This is our LDET, L plus DET transfers 
or does the epoxidation on the reface refacial epoxidation plus det or jo d det hota hai ya d minus det hota hai that is going to do the epoxidation from the psi face ab is question mein hum dekhte hain what do we have we have psi face on the top if we are having psi face on the top <clears throat> and the reagent is plus det then the plus det is always going to give you refacial epoxidation agar top ka psi face hai to bottom is definitely going to be re that's why the epoxidation took place at the bottom face this is another thing that you can remember very easy plus det refacial epoxidation let's move onwards now another reaction of a symmetric synthesis asked in december 2012 In the following reaction, the structure of B and the mode of addition are so B is something which is added to this car uh, carbonyl molecule, and that is how it is going to give you this product. So B is basically an enolate. B to enolate, or आपको ये भी पता होगा that the product is a syn product. So when the enolate are cis enolates. then only they are going to give you a syn aldol product so what are we going to look at we are looking at cis enolate it could be option number b it could be option number c it could not be option number a or d kyunki yahan pe kya hai yahan pe e enolate hai ye trans mein chala gaya na methyl is trans to this oxygen so a and d are both wrong b and c could be correct now moving onwards one very simple question to be asked is if this is the aldehyde an aldehyde ka jo oxygen hai uh, let me just draw this aldehyde because it is very easy to do so this is your carbonyl this is your hydrogen and uh, the ph if i write it over here this is the methyl and this is going to be another hydrogen theek hai so usually in the cramps rule you take the phenyl down over here आप इसको यहाँ पे रोटेट करोगे तो ये फिनाइल ऐसे आ जाएगा एंड ऑल ऑफ द ग्रुप्स आर गोइंग टू रोटेट दिस हाइड्रोजन फ्रॉम ओवर हियर दिस मिथाइल ओवर हियर एनीवेज नाउ द अटैक ऑन द सी एच ओ ओवर हियर इज टेकिंग प्लेस फ्रॉम बिलो द प्लेन हाउ कैन आई बी श्योर ऑफ दैट इट इज टेकिंग प्लेस फ्रॉम बिलो द प्लेन सच दैट द ऑक्सीजन कम्स अब ओके सो ये जो एल्डिहाइड है इसका बॉटम फेस से एडिशन हुआ है ओके सो वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू राइट दिस मॉलिक्यूल वंस अगेन इन द ओपन फॉर्म इन दिस वे द बॉटम फेस अटैक हैज टेकन प्लेस बॉटम साइड अटैक वाई बिकॉज इफ इट इज अटैकिंग ऑन द कार्बन फ्रॉम बॉटम देन ओनली द ओ एच इज गोइंग टू कम अब ओके तो बॉटम फेस क्या होना चाहिए देखते हैं फाइंड आउट करते हैं वन टू एंड थ्री द टॉप फेस इज अई फेस सो द बॉटम फेस इज गोइंग टू बी अस रीफेशियल अटैक तो कहाँ पे अटैक हुआ है कार्बोनिल के रीफेस पे अटैक हुआ है लेकिन कार्बोनिल के तो रीफेस पे अटैक हुआ है लेकिन विच साइड ऑफ द सिस एल्किन इज अटैकिंग डेफिनेटली दिस वन Now which face is this? वो भी find out कर लेते हैं ये देखो the enolate is going to attack like this, no? From this carbon it is going to attack. इसीलिए we are going to find that which face has attacked. So give the priority once again one, two and three. So one, two, three is anti-clockwise. So the psi face of the alkene has attacked. Psi face of the alkene. and reface of the aldehyde using a re enolate that give you this product okay so we are working backwards on it so this is going to be the psi face re psi facial attack reface for the aldehyde kyunki bottom se attack hua reface hai psi facial attack for the enolate carbon over here so c is the correct answer not b क्योंकि यहाँ पे री री फेशियल दे रखा है नॉट करेक्ट लेट्स मूव ऑनवर्ड्स टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अमॉन्ग द फॉलोइंग द मोस्ट सूटेबल रिएजेंट फॉर कैरिंग आउट रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ रेसिमिक थ्री मीथाइल साइक्लोहेक्सानोन इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस ऑन योर ओन
so this is our three methyl cyclohexanone and uh, it could be whatever it could be above or below i want to separate the two uh, enantiomers there is let's say one enantiomer which is having the methyl above and the another enantiomer which is having the methyl below how do i separate these two in dono ko hum separate kaise kar sakte hai very easy i am going to use a diol because diol is going to give us a uh, acetal linkage and it is going to give me two diastereomers if it gives me two diastereomers the two diastereomers are going to have different uh, boiling points i can just uh, separate them by steam distillation or any such physical method theek hai kyunki diastereomer ka alag alag melting or boiling point hota hai so i'm going to use a diol because you know that carbonyl forms a complex uh, uh, system with the diol right to ye diol use nahi kar sakte it is strained we are not going to use the acid either we can use this diol or this diol which is going to be a more better option yes i think c is going to be a better option as uh वैसे तो barrier of rotation is low for this phenyl ring system also but it will not want to be planar in this way all right however this is a open chain form so it can exist it can be taken right so c is going to be the correct answer you are going to form the diastereomers two different diastereomers all right and that is how the reaction proceeds resolution means separation separation of enantiomers that is resolution theek hai aage chalte hain next question major product formed in the following reaction is now this is just a simple attack of a hydride on the carbonyl but is it so simple dekhne mein to bahut simple lag raha hai but is it so simple let's draw try doing it by yourself guys as i always say so i will write the molecule like this because zigzag form mein <clears throat> the carbonyl and the methoxy are going to be on the same side i usually take the largest group in the bottom and then i prefer the attack lekin ye largest group bottom mein nahi jayega why because it is going to be coordinated with zinc all right ye zinc ke sath mein coordinate ho, ho chuka hai and that is how it is going to transfer one of the hydrides from the less hindered side in this way so how is it going to be finally ome below back side wala carbon hai wo same rahega the front carbon is going to be like this the oh the hydrogen and the methyl in this way so if i finally write the molecule in the same pattern since the methoxy was present like this the methyl is present over here hydrogen was below the plane after that i see the position of this methyl and the oh are on the same side so the oh is going to be on the same side kyunki hame pata hai ki hum zigzag line mein methoxy aur methyl ko rakh rahe hain that's why so this is going to be the zigzag line methoxy and methyl should be opposite the methyl over here and the hydroxy are on the same side okay A is going to be the final product. All right, this is comes from the Cram's rigid model. Okay. Next important one. ये देखो, December 2014 में आ चुका है. Major product formed in the following transformation is. Now, what is this molecule? If you realize, as soon as you see the methyl and the pH. you realize that this oxazolidinone part the chiral auxiliary is coming from minus norephedrine isn't it it is coming from minus norephedrine theek hai ye kya karega dekho <clears throat> bu2 botf that is your boron compound is going to connect to the two carbonyls and there is a base which is present it is not lda it is just a amine base okay a simple amine base so this base is going to pluck out the proton and aapko pata hona chahiye ki ye jo boron group hai 
it is going to hold both of the oxygens like this and it is going to favor a cis enolate system because boron is holding back both of the carbonyl so no repulsion cis enolate system फिर जब सिस इनोलेट पी एच सी एच ओ पे अटैक करेगा इट इज गोइंग टू गिव यू अन एल्डोल प्रोडक्ट ओनली बट द सिन एल्डोल प्रोडक्ट वेर आर दो एच एंड मीथाइल शुड बी द ओ एच एंड मीथाइल शुड बी बोथ प्रेजेंट बिलो द प्लेन वाई क्योंकि अब द प्लेन तो ये मिथाइल और पी एच है सो दिस इज एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग ये ट्रांस नहीं हो एंड दे के नॉट बी अब बोथ ऑफ दम सो आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन नंबर ए फॉर दिस All right, guys. So now we are going to talk about the catalytic asymmetric reduction of ketones, and it is very popularly known as the CBS reduction. That is the Kore-Bakshi-Shibata reduction. All right. Now uh, we have also got a question from this in the CSI and CSI net examination. So, first, let's see what is the what is the reagent going to look like. this is our final reagent and it is only going to work as a scbs catalyst we only have one version of this catalyst okay so it is always going to be the scbs catalyst right so what is happening over here what is uh, the overall catalyst let's see <clears throat> so in this molecule we are going to we are going to understand each and everything about it we will see the preparation we will see how it works how it reduces the ketone and we will also see that what is the short trick by which we can at least remember this okay so this is our ketone and it is going to reduce it always in the same method and there is only one catalyst to always give you the same ketone okay so only one uh, reaction possibility scbs catalyst now first of all we are going to show you how to prepare how to prepare this theek hai तो यहां से स्टार्ट करते हैं क्योंकि ये काफी इजी है यस फर्स्ट वन फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू आर स्टार्टिंग विद एस प्रोलीन एज आई सेड गाइज असिमेट्रिक सिंथेसिस विल ऑलवेज ट्राई टू यूटिलाइज नेचुरली ऑकरिंग काइरल मॉलिक्यूल्स सो दिस इज आवर प्रोलीन दिस इज आवर अमीनो एसिड विच ओनली हैज अ साइक्लिक रिंग विद द नाइट्रोजन दिस इज द ओनली सेकेंडरी अमीनो एसिड दैट वी हैव right s proline we start with s proline we do some five steps what are the five steps we will see later on and we have created the cbs catalyst like this what is the cbs catalyst you have got a pyrrolidine ring which is connected to one carbon which is connected to oxygen which nitrogen and oxygen both are connected to boron having a methyl so this is the cbs catalyst structure major structure but it will still not be active without adding boron because ultimately who is transferring the hydrogen the boron is the reducing agent okay but boron you already know boron will not work until and unless it is activated to reduce a ketone is not possible boron usually reduces the carboxylic acid and the amine because they are already electron rich they give electron to boron from the oxygen side boron transfers the hydrogen and that that is how it works but here the nitrogen center over here has electrons it is going to give the electrons to boron this is how it is our active reducing agent because now it has become a borohydride theek hai ye kya karega it is going to transfer the hydrogen on the carbonyl prochiral ketone means that two of the groups are different one is phenyl one is methyl after the hydrogen transfer it is going to become chiral like this तो ये किस तरीके से रिडक्शन होगा दैट इज आल्सो व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस इज आवर एक्टिव रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट सो सीबीएस कैटलिस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन कुड बी गिवन इन दिस वे एंड प्लस बीएच थ्री करके भी लिखा हो सकता है और दे कैन गिव यू ऑन द एरो दे कैन आल्सो गिव यू द एक्टिव रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट बोथ आर पॉसिबल यू विल यू शुड बी एबल टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट अब आते हैं यहाँ पे what is happening with the catalyst that we have formed by synthesis this is our catalyst boron is a lewis acidic in nature nitrogen is lewis basic in nature we are adding the bh3 which is actually our reagent of hydrogen transfer to ye is tarike se boron nitrogen ke upar connect ho gaya ye raha hamara borohydride this is going to transfer a hydrogen to the carbonyl and the o minus is going to connect to the lewis acidic boron right over here so it is a two way process electron donation and electron acceptance by boron 
so this is how it works now the catalyst is already bulky so it wants the smaller group to be present on the side that uh, from which the catalyst is transferring the hydrogen so your ketone is always going to be present like this you cannot write the larger group on this side it will be wrong this is going to be wrong you always have to arrange the ketone in such a way that the largest group is on the left hand side and the right side is the smaller group hydrogen will always be transferred from above the plane you see it is coming from above the plane this is what you have finally so you don't have to remember the whole process over here because we are definitely going to have a short trick to remember this but this is how the cbs reduction of the carbonyl happens okay now uh, first of all we are going to see the five steps that are required to make the CBS catalyst, it is not necessarily going to come in the exam because it is only application based zada aata hai, but just in case it is asked, this is the first thing we are going to do. The second thing we are going to do is find a short trick for this one which is also given in the book. Okay? Chalo. Making the CBS catalyst is what we see first. So to make the CBS heterocycle, the S minus proline has to be protected add its nitrogen center because if it will react with someone, nitrogen is going to react first. So it is reacted with a benzyl uh, carboxy. This is basically an acyl group. Alright. So this is how you have protected this by the carb by basically forming a uh, amide kind of a linkage with this one and uh, you have protected the nitrogen. Now you want the proton to be uh, 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 this carboxylic acid to be reacting onto this side. So, what will happen? We are doing the esterification. We are doing the esterification in the first step. Esterification in the first step, followed by two moles of phenyl grignard because phenyl groups are bulky. It has become an alcohol, tertiary alcohol now, which on reaction with HCl and sodium NaOH, this is going to remove the CBZ group now. And the CBG group when it is removed, now it is free to be able to attack on the borane or basically uh, methyl boron hydro dihydroxide. So, this OH group acid ke presence mein nikal jayenge and both the nitrogen and the oxygen center will attach to it. So, these are the five steps. One, two, three, four and five like aqueous workup is the last step. <laughs> right? So, these are the five steps that are required to make the CBS catalyst ring and only one more step to activate it. Okay? So, this is the active reducing agent. We have already got it. How we are going to re reduce it, that also we have seen. One more thing to remember is the short trick, the final short trick, that always you are going to write the molecule in this way, largest group left bottom. This is the larger group, always on the left bottom. Okay? And the hydrogen is always going to be transferred from above in this particular way. So, there are two things which you can do. Either you can write the larger group on the left bottom or you can find the re and the psi phase. Because if you are arranging the molecule in this way, the priority will be greater for the larger group as the smaller one. So, 1, 2, 3, it is going to be psi phase on the top. So, SCBS catalyst is going to do the psi phase hydrogen transfer that also you can say because it is we started from uh, s proline so that's why s cbs catalyst this carbon is s okay all right so this is the cbs catalyst we wanted to know about but it is only a one way process you cannot create the r form or you cannot transfer the hydrogen from bottom so for that we have another source yeah for another possibility we are having this kind of a ligand. What is this ligand, guys? Ye dekho. We are basically having tosyl amine. Both of these carbon are RR. This is going to be tosyl diphenyl ethylene diamine. What is this? Tosyl diphenyl ethylene diamine. Like this. Okay. Now, this is our chiral ligand. And the reagent is the, the catalyst is a ruthenium based catalyst with a source of hydrogen. You don't have to like go deep into it. This is one just process of reducing the carbonyls. So, when we are taking the RRTSDPEN, it is going to give you the same 
product as the SCBS catalyst, uh, sci-facial hydrogen transfer. When we are taking the SSTDPN, PSDPN, then it is going to give you just the opposite product, the refacial hydrogen addition. Okay. So, in this possibility, we also have a chance. Since we are having a chance of getting the next, getting the other enantiomer, that's why this is a better choice. But in CSI net, you have CBS. So, that's why we have to do it. Let's see this the example. What is given over here? December 2016 ka question. Hai. Let's try to solve it, guys. What is written over here? You are having a carbonyl and there are two groups. One is the ethyl and another is the tertiary butyl. And here you have got just the CBS catalyst and BH3. Matlab ye active reagent nahi hai, bana nahi hai abhi active reagent. So this combination will be the active reagent. What are you supposed to do? You are supposed to always write the largest group on the left bottom. Aur phir hydrogen kahan se transfer karwana hai? Then the hydrogen will transfer from the top. That means it is going to show you a product like this. Alright, this is going to be your major product. And where has the attack taken place? It is always going to attack from the psi phase. Because you know that if we write a greater priority group here, so 1, 2, 3 is anti-clockwise. It is always going to be the psi phase attack. But the question in the option, it is not written like this. It is again, you have to rotate it. Because in the options, it is not written like this. This is our convention. That's why we rotate the molecule in this way, 180 degree rotation. And in the options, once again, we have to rotate it because this is how it is actually written. So, OH was below, it is going to come above. Or hydrogen, which above, tha, wo below chala jayega. This is how the molecule is and it is going to be a psi facial attack. So, you tell me which answer is correct. Hai? This one, isn't it? Hydrogen below, OH above, thigh facial attack. This is wrong. OH is not below. OH is not below. OH is above. And this is read wrong. Here. So, D is the correct answer. Got it? Kore Bakshi Shibata reduction. Let's move onwards and see another question. So, I think you will be by now able to do it by yourself. So, you can stop the video. Ko khud se karo. Major product A and B formed in the following reaction sequence are. So, what do you see? You see once again the allylic alcohol and you see that there is tetra, uh, titanium tetra isopropoxide L plus DET. So, when you have plus DET, hota hai, hum kya karte hai? we do the reface epoxidation. We are going to add the epoxide from the reface. Molecular sieves as I told you before. Chalo. So, what do you see? This is carbon, hai, which is the alkene carbon, which is also connected to the allylic alcohol. This we are going to find the priority. So, first priority to the carbon connected to oxygen, second priority alkene oxygen, third to the hydrogen. So, 1, 2, 3 is anti-clockwise. It is a psi phase on the top. Top phase psi hai or catalyst, uh, the uh, chiral ligand is telling you do the refacial epoxidation. You are definitely going to do it below. So, A could be correct or C could be correct. B or D wrong ho gai because above it cannot add. Okay. Moving onwards, we are having sodium hydroxide and tertiary butyl thiol. So, it is going to form a sulphide in the presence of a strong base. Now, this sulphide hai, ye directly pe attack nahi karta hai. You already know that there is a rearrangement which is known as pain rearrangement. We have already done that. What is the pain rearrangement? In the presence of a base, the OH- is going to pull out this proton first. And the O- is going to attack over this carbon. The epoxide opens up. Such that you are going to get somewhat like this. Ye epoxide ka oxygen above the plate uh, ban jayega. And this uh, carbon is going to have the OH below the plane. And now since your sulphide was a bulky nucleophile, it is going to add only from the terminus. So, your product is only going to be like this. You cannot have the addition of the tertiary butyl group from here. Not possible. In the presence of a base, whenever you see an epoxide, you are definitely going to go through pain rearrangement. So, answer is option number C. A bhi nahi hai. Got it? Move onwards. Next. 
what do you see over here? You see the Evans oxazolidinone kind of system. It is kind of that because here oxygen is not used. But anyways, the examiner is trying to ask you the same thing. Major product formed. So, dibutyl uh, boron OTF group is going to basically give you the cis enolate in the presence of triethyl amine. And that cis enolate is going to show you something This is going to connect to boron. This is going to connect to boron. And this is the dibutyl group like this. So, aise. this is how the cis enolate is going to look like. So, you are going to get a synaldol product. Alright, you will always remember you are going to get a synaldol product whenever you get a cis alkene. After that, aldehyde is added. So, the pH and the OH are going to lie on the same side. Yeah, if you are pH zigzag line, mein le rahe ho, then this methyl over here as well as the OH will be on the same side. But which side? The methyl and the OH, are they going to be on the same side and above? Nahin. Above add nahi hoga because there is a group isopropyl group present above. So, it is going to be added below. After the reaction, there is LiOH, H2O2 and H2O that is going to give you a carboxylic acid group. So, here is a carboxylic acid group banega, which is well and good. In all the options, it is carboxylic acid. It will not be trans. It is going to be cis. But cis may be below the plane. Honge. So, B is the correct answer. A is wrong. I hope it is clear. Now we move onwards. The major product formed in the following reaction is a very important question asked in June 2016. One mole percent of K2OSO2 OH hole 4. What is this? This is just a variation of osmium tetraoxide that we are using for asymmetric dihydroxylation, isn't it? This is something to remember to kind of mug up a little bit. What is this? DHQ whole twice pal. This is the alpha AD mix. This is another reagent. This is the co-oxidant, so on. Bas hame kisse matlab hai? Hame to sirf isi se matlab hai. That is going to select. Now, try to do this question by yourself because it is a little bit risky. All right. Now the thing is, you cannot just do the reaction. Aapko kya karna padega? You have to take the molecule according to convention. What was the convention? Largest group is going to be on the left bottom. So what did I do? I have just rotated this molecule from a C2 axis like this. Aise agar when isko rotate kiya to aise ban jayega. Now do the alpha AD mix addition of hydrogen from below the plane. Addition of OH group, sorry. Below the plane means it is going to be like this. And now, since your examples are still having the pH above, now again you are going to write this above in this way and the OH are going to turn on the plane of, above the plane of paper. So your final product is going to be option number D. It is confusing because you might directly do the alpha ID addition. Isi pe directly kar doge? To A option sahi lagega but ye wrong hai. Trans to not possible because it is a syn addition reaction. That's why D is the correct answer. Next last question. CSR net June 2016 mein question. That you are taking NaHDMS and this kind of a epoxy uh, molecule. So what is happening? NaHDMS is going to remove a proton from here. And it is going to make a enolate. Now this kind of aldol reaction is like this. just the alkylation. So what is happening? Let's say you have already made a ketone over here. Uh, let's say an enolate over here. The S valine is given. Just figure out that it is given below the plane. If it is below the plane, what is it? Whatever your electrophile is going to be, that is going to add from above the plane. So above the plane with respect to this carbon. Okay, here is hydrogen, it will respect me above, hoga, but this carbon will be the same exactly, isn't it? So when I write, 
when i write this molecule with respect to this carbon it is going to be above like this theek hai lekin with respect to this carbon it is still the same तो यहां पे अगर हम इसको लिखना चाहते हैं इट कुड बी रिटर्न इन दिस वे एंड हाउ टू मेक श्योर कि वी आर डूइंग द राइट थिंग बाई सींग दैट ये कार्बन तो अब से ही एड करेगा दिस इज करेक्ट सी एंड डी आर एब्सोल्यूटली रॉन्ग आइदर इट्स ए और इट्स बी सेकेंड थिंग इज वी कैन फाइंड द आर एस नॉमिन क्लेचर ऑफ दिस कार्बन टू बी मोर क्लियर अबाउट वॉट इज द प्रोडक्ट वन टू एंड थ्री it is a clockwise rotation but the hydrogen is present above the plane so it is going to become s similarly the same thing happens over here when we are writing the final product agar hum ye wala final product likhte hain to dekho kya hota hai it is going to be 1 giving the same uh, priority yahan pe lagega 2 this is going to be the third one fourth is hydrogen so 1 2 3 is still going to be clockwise but hydrogen is present above to ye bhi s ho jayega exactly your answer is going to be option number e so there is no change in the epoxide carbon um uh, configuration the only change is happening or basically the only addition is happening on this carbon okay that was some of the important examples from the uh, csi net and gate papers of asymmetric synthesis i will see you all soon in another video and keep studying and keep practicing guys